Yeah, well, I might be wondering about the data if you haven't seen Mass Effect 2 on my run for earlier. It's reassign powers there and reassign power bonuses, okay. Um, but basically, a decision made was based on the fact that innocent people were harmed in the creation of the data. Therefore, must be eliminated. Plus, could be used for Krogan Genophage Kur, which would be bad for galactic stability. As Norton said, correct decision at time. Not omniscient. Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. So I've heard. I've got a few myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. <laughs> Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. Hmm. Yeah, well... There's a certain Solaria doctor who's already tried and failed to talk her into that, so I think you're pretty safe unless there's an intimidate check we can make to convince you of it. I guess we're at war with Cerberus now, huh? Hm. I've never actually seen a female Krogan. Seems like they're the real brains on Tichonka. Good to see Morton still alive and kicking, and still finding new ways to cause trouble. How's it going? How's it, how's it going? Uh, fine, uh, so you're calibrating here. We won't disturb you further. Okay, let's check in with Liara and see what stuff we got from Ferro. Liara, still relying on the Protheans for all the answers? It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact it exists. I'm glad you think we're doing something right. Yeah. We'll see if Shepard keeps that up. <laughs> Ooh. Takisha said Dr. Odul. I was calling every supply depot station around Crucible to find enough pure plasm for the trigger inlay. Barely have enough to coat a copy maker. An hour later, a ship pulled up with 16 tons of platinum, courtesy of the Shadow Broker. It flew away to scavenge more materials for the project. That's. <laughs> checking my computer for bugs. <laughs> oh, Kasumi. Hi, Professor. You know that one of a kind point to point comm server you were talking about the other day? Do you have any information on its whereabouts? I got something better. Check your front door. Why, but this server's locked in a Cerberus facility. Not anymore. This will be invaluable for the crucible. Thank you, Mrs. Gupta. You're the brilliant astrophysicist, Prof. I'm just a tech expert doing some odd jobs. By the by, by the way, you would not believe how many credits Cerberus leaves just lying around in the open. Uh, we could use some of those. Kelly Sanders to Jack. Hey, Sanders, checking on the kids. How are they, Jack? They'll do good. It's going to be long kind of got crap to do. I wanted to tell you, I persuaded some Alliance friends to part with that bio-arctic amp you and the children were testing at Grissom. You pick up on the Citadel. Damn, one of the L3X1s? You know how much shit I could tear up with one of those installed. I had no idea. Look after yourself. I had an idea. Look after yourself. Yeah, yeah, and hey, thanks. And Kaylee to David Anson. Oh, I can't do a Keith David voice. Luckily, it's just Kaylee. Uh, you won't get this for a while unless you find an extra connection working on Earth. I made it out to this weapon we're building. The device isn't even halfway complete and it's the most breathtakingly complicated piece of technology I've ever seen. I wish you could see this thing we're creating. It gives me hope. Take care for my sake. Interesting. All of it interesting. Ah. Shields upgrade. Um. Oh, there's nothing here. Did he say talk to Glyph about... Ferron sent us something, he said talk to Glyph. But we can't talk to Glyph. Let's try and talk to Liara. Feel free to look around. Feel free to look around. Oh, nothing new. Huh. Well, Ferron definitely sent us something. But it doesn't seem to actually uh, exist as such. Hmm. Annoying. 
At your service. Yeah. Guess check back later on. We'll definitely get something else during the game course of the game. No huge loss, I don't think. Hopefully not. Okay, no one in here. Gotta remember which room's empty at the moment. And this one's empty as well. Okay. Down to the next deck. Gabby and Ken, let's... So, Gabby, have you seen Edie's new body? Oh, I knew this was coming. I just mean, it's an amazing work of engineering. Elastic titanium silicon polymers. Ultra-light, harmonic-phased power cells. Mm-hmm. And if she ever accidentally walks into a wall, there's just so much... padding. Ugh, oh, I knew it. Wish I were a wall. <laughs> you pretty much are, Kenneth. <laughs> I can just imagine Ken posting on a forum somewhere, you know, pages and pages about, um, you know, explaining exactly how Edie's body works in Completely non pervy detail. Stress, stress. But, uh, let's talk to these two. Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Shepard. Nothing to report. Shepard. Okay. Nothing here. Assume that's where Tally will go if we ever pick her up again. We've heard rumblings of discontent in the Quarian fleet, so no doubt we'll be down there soon enough. But I want all my old squad back as soon as possible. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. You know what the commander did for us? The colony? Yes. I was on a little thing called the news. You think you can fly on this ship, sit next to us at chow time, and then broadcast something like that? That's traitorous. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. Okay. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. I'm trying to remember There's what Terra Nova was. Save five. That's the math. Huh. You know what the commander did for us? The colony? Yes. Yeah, I remember. A little thing called the news. Ah, yes. You think you can fly on this ship? Okay, gonna get away while I think about this, so they aren't constantly talking. Terra Nova was the Batarians um, tried to crash an asteroid into Terra Nova. Batarian terrorists, we stopped them. Um, now let's think. Hmm. This is a brutal war in which we're making quite a few sacrifices, but we do have a sentimental connection to Terra Nova. We did save it, but that was in different circumstances, and I think. Diane is doing the right thing here. Error of the thing. Diane's hey, doing the right just thing. Just an opinion piece. You don't like it? Don't download it. Stand down, Yeoman. She is allowed to voice her opinion until I disallow it. Aye, aye, Commander. But how does she get to say whatever she wants to the whole galaxy and there's no other side? I'll be clear that the opinion expressed is just my own. Well, okay. It's not great, but okay. Yeah reason for supporting her is that we have to harden the public to the harsh realities of war. That means morale will be depleted at a lesser rate with the loss of key colonies, or less important colonies that hold sentimental value. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automat on cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. <laughs> do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. That's an interesting thing that you don't really realize. It's just how much makeup is plastered onto people on TV and in films. It's just amazing, like seeing backstage in some interviews, how much uh, work makeup artists actually do. Because the reality of it is, is that everyone has skin imperfections. And they all get covered up in the broadcast media. To astounding degrees in some cases. Some people are just more telegenic because they get makeup put on them. Anyway, how's James getting on here? Hey, Commander. You see that Krogan female? <laughs> huh? 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 Up close and personal. I think the male's got the pretty gene. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. We've been over this, but what's his state of mind? You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. <laughs> no promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. I'll talk to you later. You bet. Uh, I wanted more dialogue with him, to be honest. I mean, we're not getting to take him out on missions much because other people fit the bill more. Ooh, model ship. They've been scattered about hidden and the SR1 can now go into our cabinet in our cabin. But yeah, kind commenter filled me in on the fact that James was actually Shepard's jailer when we were placed under arrest after killing all those Batarians. Um, for a just cause, of course, not just because we're genocidal. Uh, but yeah, we developed a kind of friendship over the course of a few months and as a result he's uh, part of our crew. But it would be nice if they told us that in game at some point. Anyway, no weapon modifications needed. Let's have a look at upgrades. Got this much money. Yeah. I'm thinking. We probably. Hmm. I'm thinking whether I'm going to spend money upgrading the Mantis, or I just get Garrus to use the Viper. I think it makes sense to just uh, you know upgrade one weapon and save money. And on that note, with this procurement thing, the same kind commenter, sorry I've forgotten your name, but uh, he'll know who he is, uh, told me about the Wraith is that uh, it's an excellent weapon, but not worth the price tag, really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to square away a little cash, just in case, in case I feel like uh, you know purchasing it, or we have some left over, and uh, hold back just a little each time we get some money, like 20% uh, or so is going to be squared away each time. And um, yeah, if, if it proves if it proves um, necessary, we'll get it. But the Eviscerator is serving me fantastically so far. Real improvement over the Katana, at least for my needs. Anyway, don't need to buy anything. We'll do that on the system that we really want. Don't want those markup fees. Where's, where's Cortez gone to, is he? Hiding somewhere? Oh well. Uh, right. Oh, there he is. I think. Yeah. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT-47s. But don't worry. This bird's been rock solid. I appreciate your dedication. Good work, Lieutenant. Thank you, Commander. You can count on me. So, before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there are views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Oh wow, we can we can use a charm option here. I think that's the first time we've seen one. Alright. Is it your choice that's an order? Are we gonna order him to relax? <laughs> yeah, I don't think charming is um Shepard's strong suit here. But I'm interested that we can do that. That's pretty that's pretty cool having it there. I'll pull rank if I have to. Take some R and R next time we hit the Citadel. Yes, ma'am. Okay. How plus four renegade for telling someone to take a break. Truly, we are a galactic badass. Anyway, let's just check. Um, check something here. Which was uh, we got some gauntlets, didn't we? Show in for melee damage. Now we definitely picked up something. I'm not sure what it was though. One thing I am noting most certainly is that these health boosts are really counting. You saw in that last mission how we were down to the last bar of health, slivers of that last bar of health. And without these health boosts, then uh, uh, we wouldn't have had that sliver of health left. But yeah. 
definitely worth having the N7 stuff on. Yeah, I'm sure we pick something up on that mission. But anyway, yeah, things are good to go for next time. So, started work on a genophage cure. Talk to everyone. We're getting more familiar faces back on board. Great to see both Rex and Morden. All those key people still missing. And next time, I think it's being strongly, strongly hinted that we should go to Chichunka. So that's what we're going to do. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.